Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. This is the Johnson student section, and you're watching Friday Night Blitz. Yeah! Well, welcome into Friday Night Blitz. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jake Friend. Well, tonight marked the end of the regular season for eight man in classes A, 1A, and 2A, but 3A through 5A still have one more week to go, and the fight for a playoff spot is getting really intense, especially between the two teams in our game of the week. Yeah, so it's Urbandale and Johnston, and those teams are part of one of the CIML's many great rivalries and in 17 matchups dating back to 08 Johnston has won nine Urbandale's won eight but tonight there's even more on the line separated at Meredith Drive Johnston and Urbandale is one of the best rivalries in the CIML it doesn't matter if it's football basketball baseball volleyball both teams no matter what the record it's usually a pretty good game hard fought and uh, you know because they're well coached and we got good coaches as well and it's it's just a fun atmosphere these guys have been a lot of them played little league together they've you know done stuff together they know each other so it's a, it's that good competitive rivalry this game has a lot more on the line than just bragging rights in the latest RPI rankings in 5a Urbandale is ranked 16th Johnston is 17. The cutoff to make state is 16 teams with just two games to go. This late in the year, every one of these games are big. So, you know, it's uh, you, you've got to come out and you got to just take care of your business, not worry about the RPI or worry about what your opponent's doing or the, your next opponent you just need to worry about and take care of your own business. We stubbed our toe on the field. We kind of put ourselves in this position. But uh, I think we're, pre we're ready for it because of the competition we've played to this point. With the high stakes, both teams are taking different approaches. Don't be thinking about, oh, it's a rivalry, oh, it's kind of decision factor if we make the playoffs or not. Kind of just got to go into it like any other game. Like Coach Woodley said, every game's a playoff game, and, and we got to win these next two if, if we want to if we wanna be playing um, past October 20th. I mean, try not to think about it too much, but we just got to play hard and play fast, play smart, and have fun. This is a huge game for us, and i um, like, this is everything to get to the playoffs. We need to win the next two, and so do they. So it's going to be a really, really big game. Game of the Week, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Johnston at home against the Jayhawks under the lights. We start with the Dragons pinned inside their own 10. And Axel Ramazani sacks Will Nuss for the safety. Urbandale takes a 2-0 lead, but the ensuing kickoff, Johnston skies one. The ball is not caught by Urbandale. It's actually recovered by Johnston. They recover. What a break. What a swing that is. And Johnston capitalizes Nuss to Jacob Simpson, the senior. What a catch. He's unstoppable. 7-2 Johnston. Now second quarter. Nuss fires deep for Tino Day. He high points it. What a grab along the sidelines. Sets him up in the red zone. And then the Dragons finish off the drive with the score. It's D'Angelo Barku on the sweep. Drags led 14 to two at half. And they dominate our game of the week, 21 to two, the final. The Ankeny Hawks visiting Valley on senior night. Now, not much action early on in this one, but the Hawks start to find their groove here. Luke Anderson finds Evan Erlmeyer for a hefty pickup in the first, and then the Hawks would find themselves inside the Valley 15-yard line here. They get pressure, though, on Anderson, gets the ball out, but it's picked off by Nick Van Arkel, and we're going the other way. The Valley defense comes up big to halt Ankeny's momentum. The Hawks do manage to get on the board in the second quarter with a field goal by Ryan Harrington. Valley's offense started to pick up in the second quarter, too. Damon Head finds a wide-open running lane and makes his way through for a big pickup. The Tigers trying to get on the board, but unfortunately, they, things won't go as planned. The throw is low and intercepted by Jacob Morfeld. This one was a battle, but it's Valley who comes out on top in this one. A last second field goal gets them the victory 24 to 23. Ankeny Centennial at home against Waukee Northwest. A game between the new schools. Good start for Northwest. The senior quarterback, Sam Johnson, on the keeper, rushes 15 yards for the score. 7-0, Wolves go up. Then the Jags 
get tricky. And it's not fair. It's a trick play. Running back Elijah Porter on the halfback pass completes to Braden Jackson inside the five yard line. And that sets up Porter. We just saw him throw. He is a running back though, so doing what he does best. Takes the handoff up the middle, ties this one at seven, but it's Northwest who goes on to win this one 17 to seven in a tough road game. Well, we are just getting started here on Friday Night Blitz. Still to come, even though Ames is a young team, how their upperclassmen are helping lead the way in the team's pursuit of another postseason appearance. Our goal is to go beyond reporting the big stories. We value our community because we are part of it. We stand together on the issues that impact us. And make an effort to understand where you are coming from, your concerns, your stories. That's why we go where you are. We advocate. Celebrate. With you. And strive to be that familiar face that you trust. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. You can be a part of Friday Night Blitz with just your phone. Easily share your great photos and video with Near Me on the We Are Iowa app. Click Share with us, enter the details, and submit. Then watch for your content on Local 5's Friday Night Blitz, Fridays at 1035. You need energy to power your life, and you can count on Alliant Energy to keep the power on so you can take care of business every day. That's why we're investing in flexible, resilient energy now and in the future. Because your community is more than the place you live. It's home. It's ours, too. That's why we're involved in our communities. Alliant Energy is here for you, improving the energy grid so she can keep the nightlight on. Your savings goals are important, and a Viridian CD makes them easy to achieve. Earn 5.5% APY on a 15-month CD, or 5.6% APY on a 15-month jumbo CD. You just sit back and watch your investment grow with online banking or our convenient mobile app. It's that simple, giving you rest easy savings. That's the value of Viridian. Open a CD online or in person today. Our first play of the week nominee, this guy's been having a great season so far. It's Madrid's junior quarterback, Preston Wicker. On the first play from scrimmage, he takes the, dis the direct snap straight to the house, untouched. Madrid gets the win. Jake with a little spoiler there. We'll also go over to that Madrid game. The Tigers coming in undefeated, hosting the 2-5 and five Wayne Falcons. First play from scrimmage. We just showed it to you. It is Madrid quarterback Preston Wicker takes that direct snap and does what he does. Takes this one all the way to the house untouched for the first touchdown of the game. And the Tigers up 6-0 after a missed extra point. Next Tigers possession. Guess who? It's going to be Preston Wicker again. This time keeps the read option for himself and plows through a Falcon defender for his second TD of the quarter. Madrid up 13 to nothing. 
On to the second quarter we go. It's Wicker taking the snap, rolling out, but can't find a receiver. Instead, he finds Falcon linebacker Fisher Buckingham for the game's first turnover. Still 13-0 Madrid. Wayne immediately, though, threw a pick on that falling possession, and once the Tigers took the field on offense, it's Preston Wicker with his third touchdown on the ground of the first half, and he got a nice block there on the edge, too, for some free space. Madrid takes a 20 to nothing lead, and they continue their undefeated season to get the win over Wayne, 40 to 14. I'm not going to spoil this one. Indianola hosting 4A's number one team, ADM. First quarter, no Aiden Flora today. He got hurt last week, so it's Taylor Kenny rolling out, and he's picked off by Adler Dykey. Man, I have known him literally since he was a baby. I feel old. Now Jake Pontier, I've also known him for a while. He makes it 10-0, Indianola. Yeah, you heard that right. Indianola leading ADM by 10. But the Tigers trying to do some damage. Kinney with a nice deep ball to Tyler Gelhar down to the three yard line. Now they're gonna try and punch it in, but Jack Strong strips the ball. It's recovered by Kale Myers, and Indianola pulls off a shocker, 24-0. Inside the Huddle, sponsored by Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeons. Well, we've talked a lot this season about the youth on this Ames High football team, but not so much on the upperclassmen that are helping lead the way for those young guys through their actions and their words. Throughout the season, the Ames High offense has developed its identity. They're a physical running team, a stark contrast from last year's offense. We went in into the preseason like all right, we're losing, we're losing one of the greatest quarterbacks in the state. We're losing a great wide receiver in the state. But we still got Jamison Poe and we got Cam and Canwine. So we're like, all right, we're going to lead the state in passing yards one year, and then we're going to go in and we're going we're gonna to run the ball down another team's throats. With two dynamic runners in Canton Wine and Poe, it was a no-brainer to play to that strength. We've just got to create more gaps on offense, use our tight ends more, and just decide we're going to run straight ahead and just kind of see what happens. And, you know, we kind of have a feeling that like Cameron was going to fit that bill a little bit at the quarterback spot. Jamison does some good things. And to our kids' credit, they really responded to that. What's also helped the run game come along is the leadership from the upperclassmen who have stepped up to make sure the younger guys understand what's being asked of them by the coaching staff. And you know, me last year, I was a sophomore starting on varsity, so I went through the same thing. And you know, you just gotta just do what you're, just do what you're told, just trust the coaching. And I feel like coming from a player that's been in those shoes, I feel like, you know, a younger classman and underclassman will be able to pick it up better. Their recent success has built up their confidence as they enter a critical two game stretch of the season and their sense of urgency is at an all time high. I feel like everybody's real confident, you know, no one's ever out there just wanting to be out there going through the motions. Everybody's just trying to go, go and get better. And no explanations, no excuses. Just keep going, keep pushing yourself. Well, Ames needing a win tonight against Sioux City East to keep their postseason hopes alive. This one was tied at seven with just under three to go in the first, but Jamison Poe on the carry takes it in for the 14-yard touchdown to put Ames in front. On to the second quarter now. The game is tied again, this time at 14. They give it to Poe from their own 39-yard line, and the junior gets on his horse and blows past everyone for a 61-yard touchdown run to give his team a 20-14 lead. Down one now with two and a half minutes left in the quarter. Cameron Canton Wine on the keeper muscles his way in to get Ames back on top. They also get the two point conversion, but Sioux City East ends up getting the win tonight 35 to 28. The top two teams in 5A number one, Southeast Polk hosting number two, Dowling. First quarter, some trickery. Trey Wilson, the wide receiver, throws to Curtis Harass. 7 0, Dowling takes a road lead. But Connor Moberly comes right back, but he's picked off by Nick Fryericks. The presence of mind to make that grab. Impressive, still 7-0 Maroons. But you can't keep Southeast Polk off the board forever. Moberly to Sam Zelenovich, tie game. And then this one goes to triple overtime. Dowling up by three, Southeast Polk wins with the touchdown. Moberly is stuffed. So it goes to fourth and goal, same play. Does he get in? He does. Southeast Polk wins a classic 37-34. And I bet those head coaches said after the game, 
We will see you at the Dome. What a game. I got to give a quick shout out to our guy Carlos. Those highlights looked amazing. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when Friday night blitz returns, we'll head to Van Meter as the Bulldogs look to stay perfect tonight against the I-35 Roadrunners. <laughs> This corner of the country, our corner, is ideal for growing many things, one of which has made Mid-American a national leader. Clean, renewable wind power, homegrown and harnessed from our very own backyard, generated from investments in wind turbines that help keep our energy rates low, investments that have created jobs, partnerships with landowners, enhancements to our communities, and have attracted new businesses to our state, to our corner of the country. 3801 Grand Retirement Campus has been recognized by U.S. News & World Report as best assisted living. 3801 Grand surpassed the threshold for excellence based on a survey of residents and family members conducted by an independent firm. 3801 Grand is fortunate to be owned by a local family since 1994. Whether you're looking for independent living, enhanced independence, assisted living, memory care, or a respite stay, your new neighbors at 3801 Grand are waiting for you. Visit 3801grand.com for more. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. It's the world's most spooktacular spa sale. Check out these scary savings at Aqua Living. Spa starting at $24.99. 14 models under $49.95. Up to 60% off with full factory warranties. Warm or chill your bones in a Catalina Swim Spa. Check out the patented Tough Top cover with a lifetime warranty. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. You're 100% approved. No credit is too spooky. Monstrous savings on products made in America. It's the world's most spooktacular spa sale at Aqua Living. For more info, go to shophottubs.com. TMZ! Taylor Swift's movie premiere was last night at the Grove and it was epic. There was free alcohol, free popcorn. Wait a minute, your lead is free alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. Celeb stories, TMZ! Weeknights at 9.30 on CW Iowa. The Van Meter Bulldogs were looking to finish out the regular season with a perfect 8-0 record tonight. And while I-35 was looking to hand them their first loss, Dave Bingham has the highlights. All right, week eight here in Van Meter as I-35 comes to town. This is it. Playoffs next week. You know, since 2015, Van Meter is 102 and 7. They've won 10 district championships in a row, trying to make it 11 tonight. The man in charge of the dogs, Eric Trudeau and his son, Kale, wife, Shauna, on senior night. Tough game early, but Van Meter finally gets it going on the ground. I-35 did a good job on defense, but this is Gordon from 15 yards out, touchdown dogs, and then Gordon up the middle with power, breaks through a shoestring tackle, bounces it to the outside, and he has the speed to burn here, 41 yards. You know, Katie lindsay has been kicking for three years for the dogs. Got to talk to her before the game. She does a great job. Wants to kick at the next level. Nails the extra point here. But then the dogs get it going through the air. Austin bomb over. Nifty little screen pass. Porter Doggett with a nice catch. And he has a convoy into the end zone. Van Meter rolling. And then it's more Gordon. R really patient in the hole. Finds the cutback. And then the juice. 54 yards touchdown Van Meter. Special teams gets involved as well. Caleb Moore got more moves than Brett Edwards, you know, during all this weather action. You see him running around the newsroom, gets it in. A big one tonight, 47-3 to the final. Van Meter will get that 
11th district title in a row, and now they are 103 and 7 in their last 20 games. Unbelievable. We'll show you more highlights on our Dome Dynasty social media later tonight and also next week on the Friday Night Blitz. Love the rain. Thanks, Brad. Send it back to you guys in the studio. Well, last week, Nevada pulled off an impressive win over the defending 3A state champs Harlan. Dave Bingham takes us through it all in this week's Dome Dynasty recap. Good ball, good ball, that a baby, that a baby, good ball. It's going to take every fiber of your toughness to win this game tonight. They will test you every single football play. You will be forced to compete every single play. This is why you play, for games like this. Leave nothing on the field. Let's go. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on, come on. Looks to pass. Fires deep right side. It's going to be picked off by Kingsbury. By one, and he's Kingsbury. got running room. He heads to the right sideline and he gets down to about the 35 yard line. A big interception. Sparkfield rolling right, firing sideline. It's picked Pass off again. It's Go Kingsbury. King looks to pass under pressure, lets it fly down the middle of the field. It's caught by Kingsbury on fourth and 17. They get a touchdown. Come on, baby, let's go. Mark failed set to pass. Now he has to roll left. He's under heavy pressure, and he's going to be sacked. King turns, gives to Stevenson. He's got plenty of running room. Right down the numbers, all the way to the end zone. First play of the drive results in a 41-yard touchdown scamper by Stevenson. Woo! Oh, dude, this man takes you. Let's go. We got to ramp it up right now. King takes the handoff to Stevenson, runs left, wings it downfield. Kingsbury with an amazing catch. Second down from the 11. King rolling out right, fires, complete. It's Palmer, and he's in the end zone. Eight seconds left in the half. Arkfeld back, fires deep, and it's picked off by Kuntzerov. King straight back to pass. All kinds of time, and he rears back and lets it fly. But it's right to Harlan. It's picked off. Schmitz spins, fumbles. The ball is loose. The Cubs are on it. Just do get it off. King rolling to his right, firing. Kingsbury catches it out of bounds. Give to Stevenson. Waits for a block. Gets it. Tough running right up the middle, making everybody miss. Bouncing off tacklers all the way to the end zone. Near midfield. Straight back to pass, under pressure. Eludes the first tackler on the run. Throws it away, makes a catch. Pitch to Gabe Arkfeld, who wants to pass. Stops, fires down the middle of the field, and it's complete. Touchdown, Jackson Beaker. Stevenson makes a move, breaks a tackle down the sidelines, finally drug out of bounds, loses the ball, but it's out of bounds. This time the snap is to Anthony Eaton and he walks into the end zone. Looking, under pressure, fires it. It's going to be picked off by Kingsbury. Give it to Stevenson, he bobbles it. Sorfenden comes up with it. Fumble. Mark Feld. Back to pass. Back to pass again, fires Eggers again. Again, the give to Stevenson. Stevenson Bounces it out to the left, making people miss. Down the numbers. Beats the last guy to the end zone. Touchdown. 27 with a carry. Tough running by Schmitz. Making people miss. Still on his feet. He's going to get to the end zone. 27. Noah touchdown. Schmitz the with the big touchdown for the Cyclones. Hey, right. this sets up a great opportunity for us next week. Guys, enjoy this one. So much to play for. Extremely proud of you guys. It's a good day to be a Cub. It's a good day to be a Cub. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. We did it. Outstanding, guys. Well, the Cubs were trying to get another statement win tonight over Creston, but the Panthers just took it to them. They are the number one team in 3A for a reason, staying undefeated with a 42-28 win tonight over Nevada. Well, still to come here on Friday Night Blitz, it's the new home for several DMPS and Drake Athletic programs. We've got the highlights from the first high school game played at Mediacom Stadium up next. <laughs> At 
Taco John's, we never judge a book by its cover. But if the cover is a one-of-a-kind flatbread coated in aged cheddar, crispy shredded potatoes, and our signature potato LA seasoning, we say judge the shell out of it. New Cheddar Crunch Tacos, only at Taco John's. Want a flatter, tighter tummy? Then check out new Ab EX from Sono Bello. Doctor, after my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me really self-conscious. It's not your fault. That stubborn fat and excess skin is very difficult to get rid of with diet and exercise alone. That's exactly why I went to Sono Bello. I really trust their team of experts, and I finally got the flat stomach I had always wanted. Introducing Ab EX from Sono Bello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. Ab EX is a great alternative to a tummy tuck because that overhang you mentioned becomes flat and tight fast with minimal downtime. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation now to learn more about Ab EX by Sono Bello. Call 1-888-391-5208 or go to sonobello.com. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. Why do I need vaccinations? If I don't get vaccinated, how sick could I get? Can I get multiple vaccines at once? What's done to make sure vaccines are safe? It's important to address your concerns about vaccines. Just make sure to get answers from people you can trust. Not from a social post or an opinion on the internet. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me, because I know you, and I'll always put your health first. money talked, it would tell you about the premium ingredients on Taco John's Valuous menu starting at one, two, or three bucks. Hand-cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico. And if your appetite talked, it would say cha-ching! The Valuous menu, only at Taco John's. Our next play of the week nominee comes from Ankeny Centennial. They go with the trick play here. Elijah Porter launches it to Braden Jackson, hauls it in for the 39-yard pickup. Well done, fellas. Well, last night, the first Des Moines Public School District sporting event was held at Mediacom Stadium. A ribbon-cutting ceremony was held ahead of the stadium's inaugural high school football game between Waukee and Roosevelt. It's located on the Drake campus and seats 4,000 people. The stadium will be home to several athletic programs for both Drake and DMPS. Our Des Moines community will continue to be strengthened. The intersection of 25th and Forest will become one of the most vibrant intersections in all of Des Moines, thanks to the joyful enthusiasm that will emanate from both the Burt Boys and Girls Club as well as from Mediacom Stadium. Roosevelt trying to start the Mediacom Stadium era off with a win over Waukee, but it was the Warriors who struck first. Beckett Baker on the keeper. He's got a clear pass to the end zone. Almost takes out our very own Rachel Winty there. Look out. Still in the first year, Warriors with the ball. Baker connects with Grant Gamble on the short pass, slices through traffic, and gets in for the touchdown. Roosevelt showing some signs of life in the second quarter. Check this out. Jaden Davison on the carry, tries to go to his left, nearly gets taken down, but fights through the tackles and escapes, taking it to the other side of the field, picks up a nice gain before being knocked out of bounds. But Waukee was just dominant in this one. They defeat Roosevelt 42 to 14. Des Moines Lincoln also playing their first game in the brand new beautiful stadium. They're hosting Marshalltown and it's the Bobcats that get the first laugh. It's Tate Riang running to the outside and bursts his way into the end zone. Marshalltown takes a 6-0 lead. Then it's Bobcat ball again. 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. Third and long. It's complete again. Riang, he never looks back all the way. That's a lot of yards in the first two quarters. 13-0 Marshalltown, and then it's Hayes on the keeper to put him up 
20 to zero. Second quarter though, Lincoln's driving. Javon Sanders brushes off a defender, makes one miss, makes another miss with his breakaway speed. We've heard from him a lot on this show this year. That makes it 20 to eight, but Marshalltown wins 27-14. Creston is off to a now 8-0 start, and they're ranked second in 3A, and they're led by one of the best quarterbacks in the state. Kale Turner is a playmaker. If something breaks and uh, he has to get outside, you know, he, he's athletic enough so he can run the football really well. Um, he can make those difficult passes out of the pocket and split decisions. He's so calm in the pocket all the time, and he just delivers those passes when he needs to. And obviously he can run, run a lot better, run around everyone when he needs to. So he's a fantastic quarterback. Turner leads 3A in passing touchdowns, passing yards, and completion percentage. I get these guys the ball in space, and they make, they make plays happen. I figure out how to get them the ball the best ways to make them succeed, and they figure out how to make me succeed. So it's a good little tandem we got going. He started at safety as a sophomore, then moved to receiver as a junior, and had a few reps at QB. Now he's moved there full time and is one of the state's best. This summer he really dove into the playbook, the practice schedule, the practice plans, and, and uh, yeah, he, he's been, uh, He's definitely been one that we knew was going to be good, and, I, and I, I don't know if the opponents knew of him. The transition was made easier by being a multi-sport athlete. You're always constantly doing something. You're never out of season like some other guys. I really feel like it helps with the athleticism, the speed, the quickness, all that kind of stuff. It's not just the stats. Creston is winning. Led by 25 seniors, the Panthers are 7-0 and are the second-ranked team in 3A. Our middle school coaches always hyped us up. Uh, back then they said this is a team that can go to the Dome, and we believed it. We knew that we could do great things if we kept working at it, and it's working out so far. I've been waiting for this moment since for as long as I can remember. I mean, growing up in Creston, being born in Creston, this is all I've dreamed. That's all all of us have dreamed of. Well, don't go anywhere because when we come back, Dave Bingham will catch up with our Coach of the Week. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up, lift your spirits, show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. Peace of mind, as in no worries. Like when you sign up for Peace of Mind Plan service with Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. It's knowing your heating and cooling system will be inspected each spring and fall and will be maintained at its highest level. It's knowing that for less than $21 a month, the Wyckoff family will take care of your family. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling is all about. Wyckoff, put peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. More pre-owned vehicles to choose from at the number one five-star platinum GM certified dealer, Carl Chevrolet. We have over 700 pre-owned models and price ranges to choose from. Come experience why more people in the nation drive one of our certified vehicles. Plus, sell us your vehicle for top dollar every day. Shop online at carlchevrolet.com. Your dealer for life, it's the car away. The internet is buffering again. Are you trying to ruin my social life? I should probably just drop out of school. There's no Wi-Fi in the basement. It's dead zone. Spoilers. Everything glitches. 
It's all your fault. Can't escape the horrors of internet drama? Switch to Extreme and live in peace with an always-on, always-fast connection. Get internet and whole home Wi-Fi for as low as $24.99 a month for one year. TMZ! Taylor Swift's movie premiere was last night at the Grove, and it was epic. There was free alcohol, free popcorn. Wait a minute. Your lead is free alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. Up stories. TMZ. Weeknights at 9.30 on CW Iowa. Coach of the Week, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. Well, tonight the Van Meter Bulldogs finished out the regular season with a perfect record with a win over I-35. We'll send it back out to Dave Bingham, who's with our Coach of the Week, Eric Trudeau. Welcome back Friday Night Blitz, our Wyckoff's Heating and Cooling Coach of the Week, Eric Trudeau. Uh, I have a lot that I could talk to you about because we've been you know, lucky enough to work with great coaches in the state of Iowa for a long time, but let's just take a let's, big win tonight and the 11 districts in a row and I know it's one day at a time and it's one week at a time for you but you had a moment with your seniors there and I guess now that you've been through we've been through some moments some hard ones and some good ones but what was I mean you're I, mature enough to really soak that in yeah I mean that group I've you know I've my youngest son is a senior this year with that group so I've had them since they were in third grade youth tackle football and um, so there's a lot of memories there that go way way back and um, those guys have worked extremely hard to put themselves in this position and I uh, just want them to you know realize that uh, you know you don't get these moments back and to take advantage of every one of them. You're foundational we've went through it a lot with coach Williams from and your high school stuff but is it hard right now with 2A and a new district? What's it been like for you because of those traditional powerhouse rivalries you've been used to in 1A? What's it been like with this this season moving to 2A? Yeah, I think it's uh, you know certainly brought a lot of new challenges for us. Um, the move up to 2A is you know all the teams are good, and, um, but uh, you know our kids have risen to that and realized that you know while we're going to face some adversity along the way, if we continue to play our best uh, each and every game and each and every play, we're going to give ourselves a chance to still be successful. We've been at that moment where you had the championship in 17. We were there. Uh, then we had the Cooper DeGene moment in 2020, <laughs> and you and I were together. That was a tough moment for you, and then we've seen what's been going on, and I think that you've come back to your foundation every time. The winning's nice. You're back-to-back -back champs. How do you put this season into words, like going for three in that legacy? Or do you? I know you're not – you're one game at a time, but yeah. look at where – Everything's coming. What, what's happening here? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, uh, the community support is great. Our administration support is great. Um, I love our student section. Um, they do a great job of supporting us. And, um, you know, it, it's just fun to be a part of the Bulldog family here in Van Meter. And um, I think our kids realize that and they want to continue the traditions. Um, but, yeah, we're not our, our kids have, you know, said from the, the beginning of the season that we're not defending anything. This is a brand new team. Each and every year just like it is uh, all the time and uh, they're trying to go out and win something and now we get to start zero and zero again just like everybody else does and try and win in advance well we had to come to van meter for sure this year so we had to get some two-way action and we'll let kenny chesney i guess take us out i mean they they started it and they rebooted it but we appreciate everything you do for these kids and for us for the blitz over the years and that's it that's going to do it for the white cops heating and cooling coach of the week eric trudeau all right, well, it's time to take a look around social media to see what people had to say about tonight's games. Looks like we got the tweet from Waukee Northwest. They got the win tonight over Ankeny Centennial. Man, they, they really are a team on the rise this season. Yeah, Local 5's Ben Neeson was over there, and that game was pouring, like, yeah. from the start. I was at Johnston. <laughs> it was, like, drizzling. So I, I don't know what happened in between there, but a bit of a sloppy game ended up being 17-7 but a good win in a top 10 matchup nonetheless. This next one, it comes from Roland Story, 49 to zero over Saydell. They've been under the radar this year. Definitely, and another team on the rise there. So definitely looking forward to what they, they're gonna do this season, the rest of the season rather. All right, what's next? We've got Regina Catholic picking up the big win over Wilton. I don't believe that is in our area, but I know they're good and we might see them yeah, in the dome. The One of our teams could play them. Definitely. Well, shout out to them for the shout out win. 
This one was crazy. This was the game I was at. Also started pouring uh, got closer to halftime, so I got stuck in that rain just like Ben. But Valley with the game winner, 24-23 win over Ankeny on senior night. You couldn't have asked for a better way to, to get the dub. Yeah, Valley started off the season in a bit of a struggle, but they've picked it up these last few games. Never an easy task beating Ankeny. Yeah, and you can never count the Valley Tigers out if we learn anything from last year. <laughs> we just talked about those misty <laughs> conditions. This was in Fort Dodge from Eric Pratt. He does a good job up there. The Dodgers had a 34-0 lead at halftime over Sioux City West. Just a cold and, and rainy night, but I liked it. It felt good, I thought. Minus the rain. I was fine with it up until it rained, and then I had to redo my hair, so I'm not a fan. I know you can't relate. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Let's see what's next. I have a feeling this is going to be my tweet, and it is. <laughs> Johnston hosts Urbandale in our game of the week. Big win for Johnston. This game had it all. It had a safety. It had a muffed punt. It had a nearly blocked punt. I had fun out there. It really fit the vibe of the rainy, cold weather. Yeah, checked everything off the list. Well, it is time for another quick break, but coming up next on Friday Night Blitz, we'll introduce you to this week's Fan of the Game. The number one objective here at Mission Cancer and Blood is to ensure that the patients are getting the very best care that they can possibly receive. I don't want to offer them just cookie cutter care. I want to empower them. I want to offer them guidance for their care, but I want them ultimately be the drivers. So each patient's going to be different, but you really get to meet these patients and they become part of your family. And if you make a difference in somebody's life, it's like making a difference in the whole of humanity, you know. It's a wonderful feeling. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and if this year is anything like last year, folks are going to be coming in early to get things for their houses. What you need is a high-efficient gas insert from Heat & Glow. Come in now and beat the rush, and Heat & Glow will help you out with some special promotions on gas inserts. We'll be doing up to $200 off on our gas metal inserts to retrofit into your drafty old wood fireplace. Come early, beat the rush. Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas in Urbandale. So what are you looking forward to in retirement? I want to defend my best smile title at my high school reunion. My friends and I want to visit as many national parks as we can. We're going to show our grandson that we're actually pretty cool. Retirement is when you have the freedom to do what you really love. And when you choose Medicare solutions from Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield, Blue helps you be you. Because with comprehensive coverage and options to fit your life, you can focus on you, not your Medicare coverage. This corner of the country, our corner, is ideal for growing many things, one of which has made MidAmerican a national leader. Clean, renewable wind power, homegrown and harnessed from our very own backyard, generated from investments in wind turbines that help keep our energy rates low, investments that have created jobs, partnerships with landowners, enhancements to our communities, and have attracted new businesses to our state, to our corner of the country. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. Football is back. Get ready for college football in Iowa with Cyhawk Game Day. Join Local 5 every Saturday at 1030 and learn everything you need to know before kickoff. Cyhawk Game Day is sponsored by Nissan. Time for play of the week nominee number three, and it comes from the first play of the game in Marshalltown against Lincoln. It's Tate Riang running to the outside, all the way upfield, pretty much doesn't get touched. We can find out our winner. That's coming up soon after the break. Fan of the game, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. I don't really know what it was. It might have been the cold weather, the playoff intensity, but student sections were on another level tonight, especially Johnston, led by our fan of the game, Jack Ruddy. 
Just running the student section, my loud voice, getting everyone hyped. That's my job, and I take pride in it. I'm not a big fan of them. Rivalry since I was a kid, but, you know, I'll keep hate out of it, but I really want to win bad. I like this captain hat there. Very fitting. Yeah, they called him the captain. I forgot to mention that. Okay, makes sense. Well, uh, let's keep with the fan theme here. Let's take a look around at all the student sections out there to see which ones were the best in this week's fan cam. This, like this was Johnston. Rat. Yep, so it was a pink out, and they were... I mean, this was probably 30, 35 minutes before the game. That's how much energy they had. Ooh. They were doing the U down, kind of like horns okay. down. Okay. And then that was the U. That's Urbandale. <laughs> I don't know if it was a Halloween, Halloween theme or a SpongeBob theme. Either way. Got some minions in there. Okay. I think this is um, Indianola. Yep. Also another pink out theme. Yes. It's a very popular one around this time of year. And this was the Ankeny student section. They had kind of a blackout theme with the camo pants. Can't go wrong with the camo pants. I feel like that's a popular trend right yeah, now. Yeah, and with, with the dark conditions, that uh, that one looks good too. Yeah, this was Valley, so right across the way doing the doing the same chant, trying to see who was louder. But I don't know. I think the Ankeny student section was a little bit louder. Really? Yeah, that's even though they were impressive. smaller. Yeah, this is actually from yesterday's game between Roosevelt and Waukee, the Waukee student section. I think Halloween theme as well with the costumes. Yeah, that'll be uh, I guess if we circle back next week, we'll see a lot more Halloween themes, a lot more pink outs. But uh, I don't know. I, I think Urbandale's Halloween theme looked really good. That, yeah. that might have been my my student section of the night. Yeah, I, I like that. I like the, the minions in front. Um, I, I think the Angani student section, they had it going. They were they're small but mighty. Well, we are moving right along here on Friday Night Blitz. On the other side of the break, we'll reveal our winner for Play of the Week. Do you have a cool photo or video you want to share with us? It's easy. Just use the We Are Iowa app, go to Near Me, and you can share with us. There, just upload your picture, tell us a little bit about it, hit submit, and you're done. Once our team reviews your submission, it'll show up on this map, and that's where you can see what other people are sharing, like your friend Holly, for example. Check out Near Me on the We Are Iowa app, and your next great photo might end up on our newscast. The legendary Lexus GX with Apple CarPlay support. Lease the 2023 GX 460 for $639 a month for 36 months. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. Not all internet is created 10G. That's why more people are excited about the game-changing power of Extreme. We didn't stop at a fiber-powered network. We went further. Extreme's 10G platform brings a new level of fast, up and down. Plus, better than ever whole home Wi-Fi and new built-in threat detection to keep your internet safe and secure. With the power of Extreme 10G, you're going to be unstoppable. Meet Shaw Floor's new Life Happens Carpet with Lifeguard Backing System. Waterproof for any adventure. Louis Floor Covering is family owned with over 50 years of experience. Thank you for voting us number one in the Metro six years in a row. Being Latina means to me being a part of a beautiful community and being part of just a wide range of diverse cultures and experiences and being part of something that's a lot bigger than just myself. It's electric, it's gas, it really is both. The first ever Lexus RX plug-in hybrid. Get special offers on select Lexus models. Play of the Week, sponsored by Taco John's. 
Well, we had three awesome plays tonight in the running for our play of the week. So, Jake, which play landed uh, the number one spot? This it week? was the trick play. It had to be. I yes. love trick plays, and it comes from Ankeny Centennial. Elijah Porter, the running back, connecting with Braden Jackson. 39-yard pickup. Gosh, nothing beats a good trick play. Yeah, we haven't really seen a lot of those this season, so uh, well, well deserved there. Well, with that, let's go ahead and get into our next uh, game of the week. Who will that be? Yep, we're going with Roosevelt and East, and Roosevelt has a chance to clinch the city crown yeah. with a win over East. Or East could play spoiler. It could go either way. There you go. I mean, those are the fascinating matchups where you get two, two teams playing for some different things there. Well, we are in the home stretch here on Friday Night Blitz, and after the break, we'll give away our game ball for week eight. This corner of the country, our corner, is ideal for growing many things, one of which has made MidAmerican a national leader. Clean, renewable wind power, homegrown and harnessed from our very own backyard, generated from investments in wind turbines that help keep our energy rates low, investments that have created jobs, partnerships with landowners, enhancements to our communities, and have attracted new businesses to our state, to our corner of the country. Your savings goals are important, and a Viridian CD makes them easy to achieve. Earn 5.5% APY on a 15-month CD, or 5.6% APY on a 15-month jumbo CD. You just sit back and watch your investment grow with online banking or our convenient mobile app. It's that simple, giving you rest easy savings. That's the value of Viridian. Open a CD online or in person today. What is unstoppable internet from Mediacom? Internet that doesn't stop breaking limits, going to 10G and making history. A network that doesn't stop growing, with more lanes to keep traffic flowing. Security that doesn't stop watching, that sees the threats and keeps you going. Homes and businesses that never stop. Network reliability that keeps you on top. It's Mediacom doing everything possible. So when it comes to your internet, you are unstoppable. Game Ball, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Well, it's time now to give away our Game Ball for Week 8, and this week it is going to Marshalltown's Tay Reing. I mean, he went off tonight. Yeah, Brent Musburger would say, Reing, 143 <laughs> yards, 17 carries, and then three catches for 166 yards and three touchdowns. Two of those touchdowns were huge plays. What a night from the young man. Yeah, I think that totaled up to like 309 uh, total yards wow. of offense from him alone. I mean, that's insane. That's a lot for any offense, let alone one player. That's impressive. Definitely so well deserved. Well, for the past 14 years, the Iowa Football Coaches Association has been keeping Ed Thomas's legacy alive through the Ed Thomas Faith Family Football Award. Now, Dave Bingham sat down with Hall of Fame coach Daryl Schumacher, who shared how significant of an honor it is for the student athletes who receive it. You know, his legacy is is was, you know, uh, built on faith family football. And, you know, all the things that he, he stood for, he stood right out in front of everybody. That's the number one thing. We will be a better school and a better community than we ever were before. Thank you. It's, it is an unbelievable award. It's the highest award we can give in the Iowa Football Coaches Association. There, there's nothing better that we could give out. You know, it, it is really important that we keep this going and then we also like we use this video to get more kids involved with thinking, hey, this is something I can do. You know, I can do that. Not everybody's gonna get that award, 
but there's some great kids out there, a, a lot of great kids. Well, we are going to take one final break, but when we come back, Jake and I will give our final thoughts on week eight. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. Wyckoff Heating and Cooling gives you peace of mind, as in no worries. It's knowing the Wyckoff family is standing by to help keep your family comfortable this season. It's knowing that Wyckoff always has competitive financing options to fit your family's budget, including no interest and no payments on any new installation. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling wants for your family. Wyckoff, for peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. This is you, and you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care, because the way you, 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 and you feel matters. Unity Point Health, know how much you matter to this world. When the weather is severe. Here comes a cluster of storms. Local 5's coverage doesn't stop with the We Are Iowa app. Should be in our southeast counties, the strongest storms. We Are Iowa's most accurate forecast. Anytime, anywhere on the We Are Iowa app. Well, before we get out of here, Jake, what stood out to you most in week I eight? I think it's the upsets, especially in 4A. Yeah. And I guess some in 3A too. Clear Lake went down... Was it 34 uh, 0 to Humboldt? To Humboldt, yeah. Wow. And that's what helped uh, Creston kind of solidify that number one spot in 3A. I mean, they're the only unbeaten team in that class. So shout out to Humboldt, I guess, on the part of Creston for helping them get that number one spot. Yeah, and then ADM loses 24 0 to Indianola. So that's two number one teams that go down. Number one Southeast Polk went to the wire with number two Dowling. Yes. It was not a great night to be a top ranked team. And then we just saw Pella. Beat Bondurant by 27. 4A is, it's as wide open as any class I've ever seen going into a playoff. Yeah, Newton also getting the win tonight. I mean, and it wasn't just like kind of short victories. It was kind of like uh, some, some big wins. Yes, yeah, statement wins. And Indianola, they were 15th in the RPI. You get the win over number one, that kind of boosts you up. And then we saw it with, with Johnston Urbandale. Johnston kind of solidifies themselves in the in the playoffs, but yeah. still one more big week to go with a lot of huge matchups. Yes, a lot on the line. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Friday Night Blitz. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.